The EMC Club at Fenway Park was the site of a very exciting wine tasting event. A select few were invited to raise a glass to their favorite Red Sox players while helping raise funds for their respective charitable organizations. Last year's batch of Red Sox wines was so successful, Charity Wines expanded their collection to add three new players to the 2008 roster. Last year, we thought we might do five, six thousand cases in New England, figure a thousand cases per state. It's pretty reasonable amount. We sold that the first four hours uh, from the retailers on the first day. So that was, we didn't know what we had stumbled into at that point. Sales of David Ortiz's vintage poppy will benefit the David Ortiz Children's Fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because you know, you, uh, as an athlete, you pretty much never involved with uh, any product that have alcohol in it. But because of uh, because of we doing it, uh, important. Proceeds from Jason Veritek's Captain's Cabernet will help pitching in for kids. It's neat, but you know, if it can it can help to to raise money. Um, you know, for the two areas that that, are, that, that we we chose, it would be it's a, it's a great great opportunity. And Kevin Euclid is so the new blog raises money for hits for kids. You know, last year, the three guys that had it for themselves uh, had a lot of success, and that's what we're hoping for our, our charity is to raise uh, a lot of money through the wine. The three new wines join Kirk Schilling's Schilling Chardonnay, Tim Wakefield's Tabernacle, and Manny Ramirez's Manny Bean Merlot. All three wines sold a quarter million bottles for charity in 2007. There you have it, Red Sox Nation, three new great-tasting wines to enjoy this summer. What more can you ask for? Maybe a bottle of Hazel May Low to your wine cellar? My thanks to everybody at Charity Wines for that very special bottle. For more information on the Red Sox wines, visit CharityWines.com. And that'll wrap up this edition of Sports Dance, presented by FWM, home of Frank Webb's Bass Centers.